Hello friends, it's Bill and you're watching Bill's Box of Sound. Uh, for those of you who want to know what my t-shirt is, I am wearing my Ghoul t-shirt, which is currently available at theghoul.com. Uh, click on the thing for stuff and you'll be able to buy one of these t-shirts. Um, I do not benefit from that sale. Uh, the Ghoul Estate does. Uh, he passed away a few years ago, but this year is 50 years since 1971 when he first started broadcasting and hosting horror movies on WKBF Channel 61 in Cleveland. And uh, he's a hero of mine, and he was a personal friend of mine, and I miss him a hell of a lot. But that's not what this video is about. This video is number four in my series of Frank Zappa posthumous CD releases. Okay. We left off. Da -da -da -da. Here's the stack of stuff. We left off with number 94, which was number one of the Road Tape series. And um, we're going to start up with number two of the Road Tape series. But I want to speak just for a couple of seconds about uh, official release number five, number 95 in the Zappa canon. And that would be the Baby Stakes Complete Soundtrack. Now, this was released on Frank Zappa's birthday, December 21st, in 2012. And it was only available as a download on iTunes. It's not available as a CD. And what it is, is if you've got the Baby Snakes movie or the Baby Snakes VHS copy, it's just all the audio from start to finish of this movie. And the only thing extra that you get if you pay the, I think it's 30 bucks to get it off of iTunes, is you get a PDF booklet that uh, is unique to this project. And my guess is that it's going to look a lot like the booklet to uh, this particular uh, DVD, which has a lot of really cool stuff on it. So there is the Baby Snakes uh, DVD, but I'm not talking about the Baby Snakes DVD right now. I'm talking about release number 96, Road Tapes, Venue 2 which is August 1973 at the Finlandia Hall in Helsinki, Finland. Okay, what was the band for this? Well, kind of like the Roxy and Elsewhere band, but pre-Roxy. Uh, you had Frank, Ruth Underwood on percussion, Ralph Humphrey on drums, George Duke keyboards, Tom Fowler bass, Jean-Luc Ponty on violin, Bruce Fowler on trombone, Ian Underwood on bass cl clarinet and synthesizer. And you're thinking, well, Helsinki, Finland, 1970s, wasn't that already in You Can't Sit On Stage, Volume 2? No, 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 no. This was a year before, and Jean-Luc Ponty and Ian Underwood are not on this. Really different stuff here, okay? This has um, earlier incarnations and arrangements of uh, songs like, for example, Frank was working on uh, Pajama People, but the version that ended up on One Size Fits All really wasn't all hashed out yet. He was still writing the song. So there's this 10 minute thing called Your Teeth and Your Shoulders and Sometimes Your Foot Goes Like This, also called the Pajama Prelude on this. There's a 15 minute version of Dupree's Paradise a uh, thing called the All Skate Dun 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 Finish Hit Single, which takes up uh, 14 minutes. That's fantastic and hilarious. There is a 13, almost 13 minute version of Big Swifty on here. Uh, almost 24 minutes of Farther Oblivion. That's fantastic. And the seven and a half minute version of Brown Shoes Don't Make It. Um, really good stuff. Two CDs. Uh, not the highest of recording quality, but still good enough for release. That's Road Tapes Venue 2, released in 2013 on Halloween. Next we have a token of his extreme, the soundtrack. Now this is a soundtrack to a video um, that this is a TV special Frank was working on that really didn't uh, make it to TV that well. And... Uh, the tracks on here, take a look at them. Good stuff. This is recorded in 1974. 
and you're saying, now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Weren't some of those performances on the CD for the Dub Room special? Yes, they were. But these versions differ in the editing and the mixing. Uh, they're a bit different. I mean, you know, I was going back and listening to this again, and I'm, and I'm thinking, wait a second, this is the same performance of Road Service that was on the other Road Service, Room Service that was on the other one. But there are differences. And if you're a completist, you gotta have them all. Ugh. But still, I think very much worth it. So that's a token of an extreme. A Token of His Extreme, the soundtrack, uh, released in 2014, January, no wait, that was 2013, November. Now we're going to talk about something that was released <laughs> in 2014, in January. And we've got the most recent issue in the Joe's Corsaga, Joe's Camouflage. Now... This is a band that Frank put together that was rehearsed and the rehearsals are recorded. There is the band, includes one of the guys from Ruben and the Jets, Terry Bozio, Napoleon Murphy Brock, and um, there, used, there was a, a band on Warbrothers that was called Chunky, Novi, and Ernie. Novi was the viola player. He's on this. And um, who else was in this band? Um, I know that Andre Lewis contributes some keyboards and vocals to this. Roy Estrada is on bass. So, interesting band of the camouflage. <laughs> um, so this is all rehearsals, all completely unreleased. Very interesting stuff. And yes, it is still in print. This is release number 98, Joe's Camouflage. Next, we have quite an interesting part of the Zappa history. Roxy by Proxy. Now, the reasoning behind this was back in 2012, Gail Zappa had a crowdfunding idea, whereas this would get released. She wanted to raise enough money to be able to finish putting together the Roxy movie. Now, there was a tease for the Roxy movie that was released online, I believe in the December of the year 2000. And nothing else was ever said about it. Movie wasn't completed. Movie never came out. Everybody said, when's it going to come out? It never came out up to this time. So Roxy by Proxy, the idea was floated that, well, if you want to make this happen, you'll pay a license fee of $1,000 and you will receive a duplication master and then have the right to manufacture and sell as many copies of this CD as you want. Although you still have to pay a royalty of $1.20 for each one of these you sell. And uh, if we get a thousand people to ante up a thousand dollars to do this, we'll make it happen. But think about it. If you are one of the 1,000 people that have the rights to do this, your chances of making money on this are just about nil. And of course, which version of it is the best way to do it? It was a crazy idea that really did not come together. So, in 2015, I'm sorry, in 20, yeah, in 2014, March of 2014, get me right on this, uh, Roxy by Proxy came out. And these are alternate versions that were mixed by Frank of some of the Roxy stuff. I'm going to try and put a list of these songs in here. And uh, it's one CD. It is number 99 in the, the Zappa official release list. Um, interesting. Now, if you've got all of the other Roxy stuff, all of it, this is not necessarily worth having. But if you're a completist, you know the rest. Okay, let's go on to number 100, the 100th release in the Zappa canon, Dance Me This, which was, according to this, the last album that Frank completed before he left us in 1993. 
This is all Frank on St. Clavier, and he plays some guitar on this, and the, the uh, tube and throat singers are on here as well. Um, intended as kind of um, chamber dance music, very unusual, not very accessible. Upon first list, it was really hard for me to uh, enjoy. But uh, as the years have gone by, this has become much more accessible to me, and I like it a lot. So there it is. Dance Me This, number 100. And uh, the last album that he completed before he left us. Now, we go from something that he completely put together by himself to something that was not put together by him at all. Release number 101 released in November of 2015, the 200 Motels Suites with Esapeka Salonen, I don't know if that's pronounced properly, and the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, plus an entire cast of people. This is a two CD set of 200 Motels orchestral music, along with supplemental musicians, Ian Underwood, Randy Kerber, Joe Travers, Scott Tunis, and Jamie Keim. And, um, this is uh, some interesting performances of this stuff. Um, not as good as the actual 200 Motels album that came out. But as we speak, as of today's date, which is July 5th, 2021, the official 200 Motels soundtrack has not officially been released by the Zappa Trust. Note that I don't say Zappa Family Trust. They've changed their name to the Zappa Trust. Make of that what you will. I have nothing to say about it. I'm just trying to be correct. So there it is, number 101, a silly millimeter longer, 200 Motels, The Sweets. Now, we were talking about Roxy and Elsewhere and Roxy by Proxy. In 2015, on Halloween, Ta-da! Release number 102, Roxy, the movie. Yes, the movie did come out. It's a Blu-ray, and included in this package is also the soundtrack to it. And it's, uh, it's mixed in surround. It's got great, great uh, content in this. If you're a big Roxy and Elsewhere fan, you gotta have this. This is wonderful. Um... Basically, the reason that this took so long to put, be put together was because the technology to put this movie together, because of all of the technical snafus that happened when it was recorded, the technology did not exist until they actually got to make this in 2015. I mean, back in 2012, when Gail was trying to do the crowdfunding, it would have cost a million dollars to put all that together and sync it up. But... This is a lot different, and the result is kind of worth the wait. It's really good. I've enjoyed this many times. All right, one more release in this. And this is currently the last of the Road Tapes installments, and I'm hoping that there will be more in the future. Uh, this was recorded at Tyrone Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis, Minnesota, 51 years ago from the day that we're recording this, the 5th of July, 1970. And this t this is the Flo and Eddie Band. Yes. Frank, Mark, Howard, Ian Underwood, George Duke, Jeff Simmons, Ainsley Dunbar. A lot of great vocal pyrotechnics on this, as well as some really funny stuff. Um, there's a running joke with uh, Larry Mondello that's going through here, which does get explained. Um, a lot of other great tunes. Mom and Dad, Concentration Moon, Dog Breath, You Didn't Try to Call Me, Charlena, Sleeping in a Jar, and great instrumental stuff, including Pound for a Brown, the Orange County Lumber Truck Medley, um, big long version of Chunga's Revenge. Very good stuff. Each disc is over 75 minutes long. No, I'm sorry, over 70 minutes long. This is release number 103, Road Tapes Venue 3, released on... March 26th of 2016. Is there more? Yes, there is more. And that'll be in uh, installment number five of the posthumous CD releases from Frank Zappa. Um, if you're new to this channel, there's a lot of Zappa content on my channel. Other 
installments of this series. Check them out. Watch them. If you don't already subscribe, please do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Had a great time. Hope you did too. Go listen to Frank Zappa. I'm going to turn up some Frank Zappa in a few minutes and drink some Diet Coke. Mm. Not endorsed, by the way.